Hello everyone. So today I thought I would do a full face of this brand Rouge Bunny Rouge that I think a lot of people haven't heard of because I don't know, they're just really under the radar. So I did pick up a few things during the Black Friday sale because I find that it, when they're not on sale, they're pretty expensive and I didn't want to necessarily splurge on full price. So they are kind of a more high end, maybe luxury brand. They're European. I think they're from the UK and um, I think believe you can only purchase their products from their website. So yeah, I don't feel like many people talk about their brand because it's not really that accessible. Um, the only people I hear, kind of people in my Instagram circle, Karina McKimmy always raves about this powder. So this is the powder that I picked up from Rouge Money Rouge quite a while ago, as well as the bronzer, which I have panned and finished up. And I really missed it and I got another one. So I did pick up a couple of the complexion products as well as two of their eyeshadow palettes because I had heard so many good things about them. If you want to see how I got this face and what I felt about the products I've used, then just keep watching. So we're going to start off naturally with the Aqua Primer. Um, at the moment, I'm using the Touch one and I really like that one. So I don't know how this will be like, but this one feels like a moisturizer. Slight fragrance, nothing too overpowering, but we're just going to see how this goes. I feel like this absorbs into the skin pretty quickly because it's already kind of sinking in and I'm going to try the tinted moisturizer sample that they provided and this is the shade Quirkus. Quirkus. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what that is. comes with a seal which is really nice to know that it's being packaged well. I think I'm just going to dot it onto my face and then just blend it out with a brush. It looks like actually it's a pretty good match. I find it so strange that no one talks about this brand except for very like except for a handful of people because they do offer international shipping and all that maybe it's because I I don't really feel like I see anyone getting PR I don't know and I do feel like in this day and age that is really important otherwise no one really talks about your brand because I don't know like there's so many options on the market these days and it's all about getting your name out there, and I just don't feel like Rouge Bunny Rouge has really done that, which is disappointing because they have some really great products. I know that they do this kind of sale every year where it's like you buy a certain amount of products, like buy three products and get 20% off or something like that. I wanted to be patient and just wait for that sale because I know that they have the same sale every year. So I also recommend doing that as well because, you know, the euro to the dollar is really unfortunate at the moment. They do have sales quite often, so I do think that that's the best time to try the products. I really like the look of this tinted moisturizer. I think it looks really nice on the skin. My skin still looks like skin, and it's got a bit of dewiness to it, which I like. I think this is actually a really good match for me as well. Let's go in with some of the highlighting liquid in Sea of Clouds. I'm just gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand. This is what it looks like. It's very luminescent. It's very runny, kind of like the bronzer. And I think I'm just going to just kind of put that on the high points of my skin. And then I'm also going to take the foundation brush and just blend out any edges. This is very silvery. Sometimes I find that with very silvery highlights, it can look very strange on me just because my skin tone is so warm, but I do feel like this looks quite nice. Um, and it doesn't make me look ashy or anything like that. They all have kind of the same fragrance. If you don't like fragrances, you might not like this. This is not, this is not too strong for me. Just bear in mind, if you really don't like fragrances, um, you won't like this. I'm going to add the bronzer in now. I love this bronzer, actually. This is my only liquid bronzer. I've got quite a few cream ones that I'm working through. Um, but of all the ones I like, this is, this is my favorite. Um, and this is the shade here. I really, really wish they would do more shades though because obviously this shade is not gonna suit everyone and I believe this is the only shade of bronzer they have. They don't seem to be catering to a really large audience which I think is really disappointing. This is what it looks like on the skin. I find that it's very, very natural, very flattering. And so I really enjoyed using this one when I was panning it. It did last me quite a while as well because it is quite a lot in here. You get 50 mil of product. It looks like you've just had a bit of sun, but 
a bit of a tan and it gives a lot more dimension to my face so I'm just gonna take back the foundation brush and just run it over just so that all the lines are really seamless it's so glowy I think it looks stunning these three products all together what should we do next actually you know what I did not put the light corrective eye primer on there is a twisty thing here so I'm okay now it's on I'm just gonna pre Ooh. okay this is interesting okay so I've got the product squeezed out and I'm just gonna dot it under the eye I get really dark under here so I definitely find that this is something that I need to do every day otherwise I look like I've just not had any sleep. It does brighten the under eye area quite a bit. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more just cause I feel like it's still looking a little bit dark under there. So that's with the primer on. I never usually put anything on my lid except for just that, like a clear primer. So we're gonna see if this makes a difference with eyeshadow application. The reason why I don't do that is because sometimes I feel it looks really unnatural because inevitably I'm going to get parts of my skin on my eyelid where I just the eyeshadow doesn't touch and so to have my upper eyeshadow looking really light like this I find really unnatural which is yeah that's kind of why I don't do this I don't do this step but I know a lot of people do like to add concealer as a primer so far it's not it's not creasing under my eyelids which is Great because I've got lots of little lines under here. Oh no, it is creasing just a tiny bit, but only when I do that, okay. Then I've got these eyeshadows. So I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try using probably both. This one and this one, because why not? But before I do my eyes, I'm going to take my beloved diaphanous powder. I haven't used this in ages because I've been focusing on panning um, other powders. I really like this powder because I feel like it blurs your skin. Um, it's really fine. So I'm gonna do that before I do any eyeshadow. Where's my mirror? Not a whole ton of powder. Just focusing on the t-zone because I don't like a very heavily powdered face on me because my skin is already on the dry side. What shade should I start with? I'm gonna start with this taupe shade here and just run that in the crease. Um, this is a little bit powdery nothing crazy and I'm just gonna take that kind of in the crease area a little does go a long way with this quite a light shade it actually looks darker in the pan than it does on my eyelid so I think I'm gonna have to go in with a bit of a deeper shade because I find that this is a little bit too light for me it's a little bit ghostly I'm gonna add a bit of this brown shade as well just to deepen it up these seem to be blending really nicely, which I like. The only thing I have to say is it doesn't seem to be deepening up very much. Maybe because I've got the concealer on, I'm not sure. Um, but I wish this was as deep as it looks like in the pan. So we're just going to continue to build that up a little bit and then blend it out a little bit. If I can find a clean brush somewhere. Where are my clean brushes at? gonna clean up the edges just a little bit I'm gonna take this cream shade just to clean up the area I think I'm gonna take the blue or should I take the purple I don't know maybe the purple I hardly ever use cool tones like if I do I usually add something warm in the crease so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this but I just feel like on my lids it's not it's going on really light I don't know why I'm going to go into the navy blue now because I just want to see what that's going to look like. Just add a little bit in there. It's not super blue. I don't know. What do you think of this look? Would you do it? Okay, and on the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with the brown. And hopefully it's going to look like a brown. I don't know how I feel about these eyeshadows. I feel like they are so muted on the lid because these just look really light, I feel. Like I feel like I want more depth. I want to be a tiny bit more deeper, a little bit more smokier. And this uh, looks very, very gray to me. I am not sure if I like this. I'm gonna add this pink shade as a blush and see what happens. It's kind of like a dusty, dusty shade.
Hmm. I don't know if I like this as a blush. Just don't think it does very much for me. So no, I don't think I'll be doing that again. All right, so I think I'm just gonna finish off my eyes, put mascara on my brows, and then let you know what I think about everything. So I have done my eyebrows and my lashes, and I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that highlighter just in the inner corner, just to illuminate my eyes a little bit, because I do feel like all these shades Kind of sometimes make me look very tired so I just want to illuminate this part which can get very very gray and then some lipstick 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 and this is just a pink because it's on my table and I can't be bothered looking for another option right now so I'm just gonna smudge it in my lips so my lips look slightly more healthy but nothing too crazy so this is the overall look i'm not sure how i feel about the eyeshadow i don't think i like these sad to say it's sad because these look really nice but then applied on my eyes i don't feel like the intensity is there this shade just does not appear very deep on my eyelid they feel very nice swatching these they feel very kind of like a bit creamy in some ways but I, I'm not sure if I like them on my eyelids I wish that they looked as deep as they did on the pan there's just not enough contrast on my eyelid I feel like I've just applied one shade of gray on my eyelid maybe two so I kind of feel really disappointed about that because I've heard so many people rave about these so much um, I mean, I do feel like these are good quality eyeshadows. I feel like I didn't have any trouble blending them or anything. I just wish they had the depth, um, which I feel like is missing from this. I'm probably going around a circle, but I just feel like it's these shades are too light for me. I want a brown that's a little bit deeper. I want a, a blue that's a bit deeper, but really these are kind of mid-tone shades. So I really personally think that this would work best for someone with a light skin complexion because they're not gonna show up very deep otherwise and this is not necessarily the most flattering look on me I think so yeah I think that's a little bit disappointing but I have to say with the rest of the products I like obviously this is the first time that I've tried some of these things out so um, it's hard for me to say um, whether they wear well or anything like that but just by first impressions I like the look of my skin I really do but yeah let me know your thoughts have you tried this brand before um, and if you have what products do you like or recommend yeah I'd be interested to know your thoughts because I just don't feel like Rouge Bunny Rouge is a brand that's really talked about maybe it's because it's not very accessible you can only really access it on the website and of course unless you have the opportunity to swatch things in person you know people don't necessarily want to take the plunge to buy something that is that expensive just by online photos so I can understand that. I'm gonna take my face off because it's literally like 11 p.m. at night, but I thought I would just sit down and play with some makeup today because it's been sitting in a box for like a week. Anyway, if you wanna see more of my face, please subscribe and I hope you catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.